We are Davy and Sky, and in this video, we're going to be exploring PEI. Prince Edward Island is an absolute gem of an island located on the east coast of Canada. We love it so much. It's actually becoming a tradition that we come here every summer. It just has so much to offer and it always has you coming back for more. So we're really excited to be here because we're going to be exploring Charlottetown, which is the capital city, and we've actually never truly explored Charlottetown before. We've done videos, you can check them out on our channel, of the North Cape Coastal Drive, we've driven the Points East Coastal Drive, we've done a little bit of Cavendish, a little bit of Victoria by the Sea, um, but we've never explored Charlottetown. So we are very excited to be here for the next few days and uh, show you where to eat, where to stay, where to explore, and yeah. take the dogs are with us too. To get here, we took the ferry. There's so much to do. There's salty scoops. They have ice salt cream. Salt water scoops. Salt water scoops, and we got some popsicles, yes. live music. It's like the type of experience, the ferry in itself is a very like well-recommended experience if you're coming to Prince Edward Island and like all ages enjoy it and there's so much space. The live music was an extra treat. Yeah, eh? We've nice. never experienced live music on the ferry <laughs> before. It never aligned with our schedule. So, so we're, we're in the ferry docks. We're yes. at Wood Island's Lighthouse and, and this is an amazing us. green space. So we just let the dogs out and we're gonna head into town. If you're wondering what it's like to work with our dogs, one is a complete gem and will do anything you say, but the other one is just <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Toby's a little broken. <laughs> oh, kisses. Oh, just kissing. There's actually two lighthouses here. And there's a well. Want some water? You don't like it? We're just hiking into our hotel and we're heading to our room. And this is the hallway. <laughs> I just like don't feel safe right now. <laughs> That's, that is so scary. Don't drop the camera. <laughs> We have just checked into this amazing luxury hotel located in the heart of Charlottetown. It is the Holman Grand. They are completely dog friendly. We checked in with them because we knew we had a dog friendly room, but we wanted to make sure like how much of the hotel is dog friendly. And they said the entire hotel, which is very cool. We will give you a little room tour of our incredible room now. As you walk in the door, there's a closet behind the camera where Dave is there. You'll see this big, beautiful desk, a little bar area complete with sink which is pretty cool, and a microwave and a fridge. A bunch of cups and dishes up there too. This is our little living room area with a chair and a fireplace and a TV. <laughs> and over here, I think that was silly. <laughs> over here we have another fireplace on the other side and a TV. And this is our bed. Oh, that was good. That was a good bed test. This is our incredible panoramic view of Charlottetown. You can see like the water on either side, the Confederation Center of the Arts is right across there. It's stunning, oh my goodness. I wonder where the sun rises and sets. It is a spa inspired bathroom is what it says. So you come through here, beautiful bathroom area, tub to soak in, a little separate room to shower and to do your own business. And just like walking up through the hotel is so beautiful too. The staff are beyond friendly. I'm really looking forward to our stay here. What do you think? What do you think of the room? Oh, you know where the food is. That's all <laughs> they care about. I love it here. This is definitely one of the fanciest places we've been that's dog friendly. <laughs> the oh, entire hotel, God. all of the rooms are dog friendly. This so. is amazing. Yeah. And these are potato. And he has potatoes, but they're reversible, so they are by two beggary made in PEI. I'm assuming you can look them up and get some of your own PEI handmade uh, dog handkerchiefs. Toby has some lobsters with some plaid behind them Very there. Nice. Gorgeous. I suppose we should have supper now. <laughs> they have their bibs on, they're ready for supper. We are all settled into our hotel and around the corner from where we are staying is Victoria Row. So it's that road right behind me there. It's absolutely gorgeous. You walk through this archway that says Victoria Row. And it is a spot that is an absolute hub for live music, local arts, food, shopping. And during the summer months, they actually close it down so cars can't go down there and it's pedestrians only, which is pretty cool. The restaurant spot that we have chosen for tonight on Victoria Row is John Brown's Grill and it is a well-known spot. We've actually 
ate here <laughs> one of the few times we've been in Charlottetown before and had an amazing meal with friends so we're very happy to be back as all PEI restaurants the spot is known for local seafood local ingredients and infusing um, everything local into their menu items so we've gotten some drinks we're sitting out on the patio it's a great vibe and we got a starter of mussels they have three different options to have your mussels and you can do like a classic white wine type sauce they also have a goat cheese and spinach and a bruschetta tomato pesto type one too and that's that last one is the one that we went with local PEI mussels <laughs> we have relocated to a spot with an umbrella because right when our food came out it started to sprinkle a little bit so that's hence the new location but we wanted to show you what food that we got I went with the maritime tacos so they are a soft tortilla you can get the fish fried or poached so I went with poached so and just a little bit more fresh fresher and less friedness that's that and a beet salad to go with it and then David's is pretty simple he got a lamb burger and I'm stealing his fries already <laughs> This is really funny how, how much it's raining and everybody just ran inside the restaurant. Oh, are we going to be the only ones left? <gasps> I it's think we're the only ones left. <laughs> Dinner was so good. It was great. And, and it felt and like we had the whole place to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody went inside. <laughs> Now we're just kind of like exploring a little bit. Shops are all closed because it's Sunday. Yeah, but that means we're kind of scoping out where we're gonna shop yeah. and check out throughout the week, which is exciting. There's a few that we already have our eyes on. So Probably gonna go back and get the dogs, take them for a little walk. There's a peck that we want to uh, check out and show you guys. I am obsessed with the colors of these houses. They're so pretty. I like that Ferrari over there. Oh you my gosh. It? <laughs> Historical beautiful houses, shiny Ferrari. <laughs> Charlottetown is bumping. There's a lot happening, a lot going on. A lot to see. Oh my god. It's giant fever. I'm kind of like. Is the doors probably normally open? Oh. I thought they were like, put them in the corner or something. All the better to eat with. Nice. Hey. Very, very posh. It's $7.99. I can see the sun. It's a bird feeder. I think. Bird feeder buoy? Yeah. You can hang it up. That's so neat. Look. This guy has a face. Stopped in at Cows for some ice cream. Obviously we had to. I got some chocolate mud. I got the blueberry. PEI blueberry nice. ice cream. Oh my gosh. It's so good. This is Mr. Cow. Original creator of the cow's ice cream. Yeah, he made it himself. Made all the milk and then crazy. Made it into ice cream. Just hopped on over to Victoria Park, not too far from the hotel. That's actually downtown Charlottetown, right behind us there. So you can walk there, or you can get these scooters that we've been seeing everybody getting, yeah, or you they can look drive. So fun. You can drive as well. Victoria Park is a super nice park. Charlottetown area has a lot of parks. I, this one's most likely the most popular um, because it's so stunning. It also has tennis courts, a ball field, um, fields that you can just come and play soccer in or have a picnic. There's an accessible playground. Are we getting tangled by the dogs? <laughs> and it's dog friendly as long as you have them on leash. So we're gonna take the girls for a walk here before calling it a night. Both of you. Oh, watch out, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> we're terrible parents. <laughs> Today is a rainy day in Charlottetown and it's not just a little light rain, it's like downpouring rain, but we are actually quite fortunate to be here in the city because there's tons of things to do inside. I don't even know why I'm staying outside telling you this right now. So we're gonna check out some cafes, a gallery, um, some stores, and just kind of keep our explorations indoors today. First stop is a cafe. So this is the gallery, coffee house, and eatery. I got a pesto chicken sandwich. It has bacon on there too. With 
break. Oh, that looks so good. And I got their veggie pesto sandwich served on a ciabatta bun. And I also got, so with their sandwiches, you can get a side of chips or their honey mustard coleslaw. So I got the honey mustard coleslaw, but then I got some roasted potatoes on the side too, because I'm feeling extra hungry. And some yummy coffee. They have a great coffee selection, some baked goods, really nice atmosphere in here. Perfect spot to hide from the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Did you add cheese or that came with cheese? It came with it. Okay, a great thing to do on a rainy day is to visit the Confederation Center of Art. And in here, there is actually a replica of Province House, which is where the birthplace of Confederation happened back in 1864, I believe it was. You can come in, it's free admission through Parks Canada, watch a video on the whole story of Confederation, particularly its, its ties to here in Charlottetown, and enjoy the exhibit. If you come down the stairs, there's also a really large art gallery here, and it's also free. Free to, free to go in and check out. Yeah, it's not. Admission by donation. It's free. After checking out the art gallery, we actually discovered that there are tunnel systems through the hotel that we're staying at to the art gallery and center. And then through there, you can get back to uh, Victoria Road. So that's where we are. We're gonna go check out some shops. First stop we're making is Curiosities and you can find a list of a bunch of different stores all around Charlottetown on Welcome PEI's website. So this was one that they recommended. I just really like this. Is that a hat? Yeah, like a child's hat. I don't know what it is. It's like a lobster sandwich? I think. I thought you would find this in a Scottish store. Nothing good. Yeah. No, that's just, that's it. Yellowstone over here. What do I look? This looks pretty good. Don't you have one like that? No. Gifts and home decor. <laughs> you should get this. <laughs> With my kilt? No, just to like have for like oh. future T Max and stuff. Not a terrible idea. Those are really nice. Try it on. Two for 25. That's actually a good deal. That's a very good deal. It does. That's hilarious. <laughs> We're not wrestling alligators every day, but you know, I get that. A very popular spot to come on a rainy day is Hive and Honeycomb. This is a place for board game lovers, for pottery lovers, paint lovers, so you can come by yourself with friends, with the whole family, get a table, get some snacks, some drinks, and paint some pottery, and just have a great old time indoors. I just got this crazy shake. It's a boozy shake, and it's mint chocolate baileys. Look at this thing. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> that is lovely. Are you sure you don't want my refreshing cider in exchange? I got it. <laughs> Finished it, and we have five minutes till they close, so we gotta get this thing dry. We're, <laughs> we're just blowing on it. This is Anna Green Gables chocolates. Raspberry cordial. We have had the raspberry cordial. It is very good. This is dangerous. Oh my god. We got a mixed pack of chocolate and a slushie. Nice. So when you're in PEI, you cannot help yourself, but come to Anna Green Gables and try some goodies. We got like a mystery pack. Just because we couldn't decide. Oh, that's mint. That one again smells minty too. Mm. Oh, nice. That's really good. This video is just us mocking chocolates. <laughs> we worked up an appetite, so we're gonna get some dinner at Sea Rocket Oyster House. So for tonight, for dinner, we got fish and chips, of course. This beautiful scallop dish with fresh vegetables and jalapeno cornbread. Yeah, six oysters as well with the sauce. I'm very excited to dive into these. David didn't want to get a dozen, so hopefully he'll let me eat all of these myself then. Well, 
it is still raining. So we're gonna take you to one more place today. It is the Pony Boat, it's an arcade and games area. You can also get some food and drinks in here too. But we're full, so we're just gonna play a few games before we head to bed. Wanted to mention that there's also an amazing bowling alley in Charlottetown, it's called The Alley, um, but they're closed right now or else we'd be heading there too. Some of these loonies are so shiny. <laughs> oh my God. It's a 2022. and enjoyed a lovely room service breakfast in our room. It was so nice and peaceful. It's still raining as you can see outside. Um, but today's agenda is pretty action packed and we are gonna be starting off with getting the inside scoop on Cow's Creamery. Did you see what I did there? The inside scoop, did you get it? <laughs> nice. Nice? Nice. It's about a 10 minute drive from Charlottetown. You can come here and visit and this is where they make their ice cream and their t-shirts and cheese. There's a cheese factory tour part of it too. So let's head inside and check it out. So yeah, the cream right here, right behind where the retail stuff is, is a behind the scenes area. So come on in. You can go to the Milky Way Theater over there and learn a little bit more about cows. Or you can come back here and get a behind the scenes look at where they make all of their amazing merch, all of their t-shirts and crew necks and everything. So that's the whole printing process there. And over here is a whole wall of different designs that you can choose from, including some golden oldies that from years past. There is a whole area where you can watch them making ice cream and packaging it. And this is the Avonlea Cheese Cave where you can see their award-winning cheese being aged and we're gonna go buy some cheese out in the store after this too. I want all of the cheese. <laughs> Today we're gonna be making our own t-shirts and we're back behind the scenes, behind behind the scenes to see how that process is done. And you can find all of these uh, products available online and you can order them to your house. But if you're here in PE, I would recommend that you come to the Creamery, print it and they'll either you can take it to go or you can ship it home or wear it. I might wear my note. It's my shirt. <laughs> David got Moolander. I got a classic bloom design with some beautiful PEI flowers. And then I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to get this old classic design. I used to have the same shirt when I was little. I think it was my first ever time to PEI. I was about four or five years old and it's two cows on the Titanic because the Titanic movie would have just came out. And I saw it and she just made it for me. So the nostalgia right now is running high and I cannot wait to wear this. Just came out of there with a boatload of cheese. <laughs> and t-shirts. And t-shirts and merch and this little baby onesie. Not for us, for a gift. Right beside Krabs Creamery is Boom Burger. This is a, an amazing burger spot. We're excited to go in and grab some lunch. They use cow's butter with their buns local PEI potatoes and the cow's creamery cheese on their burgers too. And this spot looks very popular. It is packed in there. Yep, that's some real potatoes. Got herself some boom burger. That looks amazing. You can watch them make them right there behind the grill too. So good, so many condiment options, including fried mushrooms and onions, which is not something you normally get at like a fast huddle food burger joint. Very exciting and a very generous portion of fries. This is a small, and we just split it. Wow. Yeah, so I got it's a really good burger. It's so good. Mushroom in it. Yeah, no wonder this place is so busy. So full. Oh, that buttery bun. Mwah. Gave fries are good too. Crunch. We've been uh, oh going hard on the potatoes this trip. <laughs> fries with everything. It's like the. Uh... Yeah, you just gotta. So right by Cows and Boom Burger, there is Uptown Farmlands. There is an off-leash dog park. So I'm gonna let the dogs out for a minute. 
stay. Oh, we got friends. We got some friends. We just had a nice little relaxing afternoon and now we're all freshened up for dinner this evening. And where we're gonna be dining is this beautiful three-story historic brick building behind me. It dates back to 1864. And it is the home of Sims Steakhouse and Oyster Bar. They're well known for their oyster bar, their amazing seafood selection, wine list, cocktail menu, and our next dinner spot. Let's go in. This is beautiful. When you enter, you have to go through these thick velvet curtains to get to the dining area. This is gorgeous. I ordered appetizers, but I mean, when they come out with the fresh house-made biscuits and a honey cinnamon butter, we obviously have to try that too. I think we're gonna be rolling out of here. We're gonna be so full. <laughs> we have a really exciting event planned for tonight. This spot is known for their oysters and steak. So of course we had to order both oysters and steak. And they have a variety of different fresh local oysters available. Tonight we're gonna be trying three different kinds. Six total, but one of each for each of us. Um, so first off we have some sand dune oysters here. And pickle point here as well as sweet kiss right here and we got a tuna crudo crudo it smells so fresh and good <laughs> it's so good <laughs> it was that was a big oyster i couldn't talk right away say something. it's so good so salty it's okay, no delicious try, no try a different one tell me if you can taste the difference it tastes different. I put a little bit too much of that on it, so it definitely overpowered it a little bit. I think I like the sand dunes one more. This one is really good too. Never had tuna crudo before. I love raw tuna. I love tuna. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's so good. Our steaks have arrived and they look and smell absolutely incredible. So all of their beef is actually sourced locally around PEI and they age it in-house for 45 days. And they have so many different options that you can choose from. We went with some pretty basic options just because it's steak. You don't need something too fancy. It's gonna be amazing as is. David did go with an Ardbeg, so a single scotch, single malt scotch <laughs> infused steak. It's about a 12 ounce, uh, what was it, strip loin or yeah. ribeye? Yeah. And a garlic mash with some seasonal veg. And then the jeu is uh, just beside it there. And then I went with a 10 ounce, which it looks way bigger than a 10 ounce. <laughs> strip loin with the garlic mash and seasonal veg as well. And we've paired it with a pretty full-bodied red to uh, wash it in. That looks amazing. Oh my god. We like our steaks. Nice. Medium rare. Not sure about you, but it's our favorite way. I mean, but again, it's steak. <laughs> it's so flipping good. Oh my goodness. Do you taste the whiskey? That's amazing. I'm marrying David in October, but uh, if I can marry this steak right now, I would. For dessert, we got their sticky toffee pudding, um, which looks amazing. The ice cream on top is actually made by cows, of course, when in Charlottetown, when in PEI. Um, and it's a caramel vanilla ice cream that's made especially for Sims, drizzled with all this caramel goodness sauce as well. It's heaven. Perfect way to end the dinner. I know. I know I said we would share, but can I have this all to myself? Dinner was absolutely incredible. Like beyond, beyond, beyond. What a what an experience. If you're in Charlottetown, you should definitely check out Sims, Oyster House, Steakhouse. Extraordinaire. We loved it. Now we are out. Just down the road. We're gonna be going to a play at the Confederation Center of the Arts, and it's the play. The play that goes wrong. So it's a who done it is what we were told. But they also feature lots of other plays and musicals here. So they have continuously different things playing. So check out the uh, box office to see what's in store when you're visiting. Turns out cameras are not allowed inside. So. 
You don't get to see the play. We do. We made it into this beautiful theater setting and it is a play. So there's no photo or video allowed to happen during the play. But we wanted to tell you a little bit about this play. So it is called The Play That Goes Wrong. And it's a what would happen if Sherlock Holmes and Monty Python had a stage baby. <laughs> you get this award-winning smash hit comedy that has absolutely taken over Broadway um, and London's West End. A play within a play that's classic murder mystery it is a chock full of mishaps and mad cat mania that delivers a fun for all ages. So we are in for an absolutely fabulous night, but again, there are tons of different plays and musicals happening here at the Confederation of the Arts Centre all the time in Charlottetown and highly recommend you check it out. It's a brilliant thing to do, rain or shine. That was amazing. That play was great. It was so much fun, so witty, and it's a play that goes wrong, so like everything went wrong, obviously, but like meant to go wrong. But yeah, it was incredible. Had the whole audience laughing the entire time. Yeah, it was really good. How'd you like it? It was good. Was yeah. it good? Oh, it was oh, good. Okay. So we can't really show what we saw. I but, know, uh, but you just gotta come here and experience it. Yeah. Yeah. This is Sydney Street. It's really pretty. Good night. Oh my gosh, it's not raining. Good morning. We got up early this morning for a little run with Toby on the Confederation Trail. And now it's going to be a big dog day. We're going to check out some dog friendly shops. We've been wanting to do that since we got here, but it's been so rainy and we just didn't want to be those people that bring wet dogs into stores. But Charlottetown is super dog friendly. There are tons of different stores that are dog friendly and patios too. So that's the plan. We're going to have a little dog day because it stopped raining. I go out, dude. I don't like that one. They have their own water in the room. <laughs> you want water? Come on in. Come on, Toby. Hi, Wow. Look at this, Toby. Hello. Wow. Hello. There are so many things to see in this shop. Oh my gosh. It's for people of all ages. Lots of different gift ideas for yourself or friends. And just love that it's dog friendly. This is great. Indy's loving all the smells. What up with all these books? This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Receive your coffee. Cheers. Yours is super hot, so I had to triple uh, sleeve it. Nice. No coffee for the dogs? <laughs> no coffee for the dogs. They have enough energy as it is. You good, dude? <laughs> Like I just like was like, oh, what are you guys dressed up for? And I'm like, pardon? Thought that I was dressed up with like the folks down the road there that are promoting, I think, like a historical event or play or something, but they're dressed in like bonnets and everything. And <laughs> like, do you see them? Do you see, I them? see them? He thought I was with them. <laughs> This is downtown Charlottetown's waterfront area and there are tons of different shops including dog friendly shops and lots of restaurants and little spots that you can grab a drink at too. So we are going to go down on this floating boardwalk area which looks quite cool. There's a bunch of different businesses located here including Dave's Lobster, Lobster Rolls, Spiral Cinnamon and more and there is a, a new tiki bar that we're probably going to grab some margaritas from. I believe it's dog friendly there but we'll go check. Well, they don't come the fryer Cheers. JC's Tiki Bar. We've left our mark on JC's Tiki Bar. The spot right next to JC's Tiki Bar is called Shell Shack and they have a bunch of different oysters and they actually keep count of all of the oysters that they have shocked so far this year since June 1st and it's just getting into July now and they've already shocked over 1,700 and we got four more so 1,705 oysters so far this year. I would love to see that number come October time. But yeah, they have three different types of oysters. Normally on a hot summer day, this thing is packed. People are always coming down and getting some nice, cool, refreshing oysters. Don't look at me like that. Eating oysters is not a graceful thing. A little lupper. 
tonight some lunch and supper is here at the merchant man and david got the smoked was it smoked salmon yeah. nan so it's on some nan bread with some cream cheese some salmon some greens some deliciousness it looks incredible um with some fries which we've already been eating i got a house salad with a crispy haddock taco and it has some corn like salsa on there it looks incredible and we're just happy to be sitting outside with the dogs. The rain has held off, which means tonight's activities yeah, are got nicer. a go. About 20 minutes outside of Charlottetown is the Brackley Drive-In. So we're going old school tonight and we are going to the drive-in. I am very excited. It's the dog's first time at the drive-in. Is it our first time at the drive-in together? It is first I time we've so. been together. And this drive-in is I've only ever been to one other. So one. cool. It's so old school. There's like some old cars up at the front stage there. They have two different theater screenings. So like two different screens where you can watch multiple movies. And we got like a meal deal. So it's like 30 bucks for a car of two adults plus two drinks and, and popcorn for two movies. Two movies. What a deal. I don't know if we'll stay for the second movie, but we'll definitely stay for the first. And tonight is uh, not to date this video or anything, but tonight is Indiana Jones. So we're really excited to sit back, relax, watch the sunset, and watch a movie. See you in the morning. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to see the movie? They're like, I'm excited to go to bed. Some salty, buttery popcorn for you, sir. And a Pepsi for you. They did not have Coke and a root beer for me. Bring your own bug spray is my biggest recommendation for the drive-in. Anywheres, I don't know. I've only ever been to a drive-in in Nova Scotia and PEI I know, but uh, what the drive-in? The movie will start in just a few minutes, but before that, Ruins and rubble. The Fuhrer is in hiding. You lost. Stopped in to receive her coffee again this morning, got some iced coffees, and Skylar got me a mystery pinwheel. It's a bit of called pinwheels. And I think it's pesto is what she's at. It's feta pesto. And then this one is ham and cheese. See, like, I don't know, because I had to watch the dog, so she went in and then she doesn't know what she got me. <laughs> and I got them to heat it up. Well, it seemed like a big thing. But they too. look really nice. They have full breakfast there too. And I saw one of the full breakfasts come out and it looked really good. Yeah, but they... we don't want to eat too much because we're going to be eating all day. Yeah. They have really good sandwiches in there. Receiver coffee, good sandwiches. And soup. And soup, yeah. It is a beautiful day. So, of course, we had to come down to the waterfront. And a lovely spot on the waterfront is called Founders Food Hall and Market. And it's basically your one stop shop for a bunch of different foods, a bunch of different gift items and vendors inside. There's also a PEI information center in there too. So we're gonna go grab a spot on the uh, patio over there and get some food. There are tons of places to sit inside, but outside it's dog friendly, so that's where we are. And we got an assortment of things for lunch. We went to the pint, the pretzel pint and pickle for a nice little flight of local PEI beers. We also went to Dal's Potato Bar for a lobster baked potato. That's right folks, we're in PEI, which means you don't just get a lobster roll here, you can also get a lobster baked potato. So instead of a bun, you have a potato for the bun. Looks super good. And we went to Aldo Rennie's uh, Panini, gourmet panini shop, which has homemade bread. We got the <laughs> Islander. What? Is Indy looking at her lips the whole time? It does smell really good. I got, I went with the Islander, which is roast beef. Uh, I believe there's cheese on there, some tomato, salt and pepper. It smells super good. And then we also went to uh, Donut by Design for a little Kit Kat dessert. Although I got this first. It was weird, I worked backwards. I went to the donut shop first because I knew I wanted a donut. And then I went to the beer shop because I knew I wanted beer. <laughs> and then it was very hard to decide what else I wanted because there was so much to choose from. Cannot forget that I went to the dog shop as well in there, to Beggars, which is where we got these little bandanas that the girls have been wearing. Sorry, I just poked you in the eye. <laughs> and we got some chicken, bacon, cheddar treats, which they've already been loving, as you can see. It's been great to bribe them for uh, posing with photos. This is such a cool spot to sit. Yes. You could get a whole huge group in here. You could. And it's so nice. We have a perfect day. The entire day. area is licensed too. So like this whole area, you can have beer and drinks out at. And the pretzel, pint, and pickle also has fresh pretzels. 
too. So you could totally have yourself a little beer garden. Why didn't you get us the pretzels, man? Because I had to get <laughs> other food and I just... <laughs> it was tough deciding. David had the easy part. He just had to wait. This wasn't the prettiest sandwich in the world, but it was damn tasty. It's really good. The bread is really good. It's a beautiful day and we are going to be taking a boat tour here with Peaks Wharf Boat Tours. This is Captain Ken and he's going to be taking us out on the water for their afternoon seal tour. Would you recommend doing this even on a rainy day too? Or? It, yes, because the seals I am, love rain, right? The seals are wet anyway <laughs> and, uh, and I am, you know, I can take 20, 20 some people under the canopy yeah. and when you can't go to the beach. It's a it's great a thing activity. to do. We saved this tour for a nicer day just because it's more photogenic, but know yeah. that you can do it on rainy days too. And Sorry. they're dog friendly as well. You gotta check ahead of time to make sure that they're okay to bring on the dog, but uh, Indy's gonna be with us. We took the boat out of the harbor and we are now by Governor's Island, which is an uninhabited island other than inhabited by lots of seals and birds. And that's quite prim over there where we've been before and there's a beautiful lighthouse to visit. I was born the last day we were in Colin, do it, you're brave. Your little legs aren't gonna hurt you. Eric, the bottom. Yeah. That was a fun little tour. Got to see some seals. Didn't get too close because the tide was in, so we couldn't get that close, but they, some, some of them came up and checked out the boat. They were curious. Yes, that was, it was really neat. Yeah, and we pulled up a lobster trap. Mm -hmm. And Skylar's just like an expert now, so she was showing people the lobster and <laughs> bragging about how she's seen a bigger one in the South Shore. Uh. So. <laughs> Hardly an expert, I don't know. I just feel more confident, I guess, holding a lobster, so I was able to help out a little. Yeah. And normally, the crew, uh, he said he normally has more crew members on board, like family members that help take care of every, like make sure everyone's comfortable and stuff. But everyone's, all of his family are all enjoying Cavendish Beach Music Festival right now, so it was just uh, him and his son that were manning the ship, and we had a blast. He even sang us a little song and had some great tunes, some great local artists playing on the ride, and what else? It's just a beautiful it, yeah. thing to do. Rain or shine, but if it's a nice hot day, getting out on the water and getting some of that cool sea breeze. And we've seen the blue nose. Oh yeah. Casu by. Casually just saw the blue nose too uh, in the Charlottetown Harbor, which was pretty neat. And now we are gonna go and grab some dinner along the wharf here. Tonight's dinner, we are down on what I believe is the marina area. And we're at Salt and Soul. This place is such a vibe. Patio is dog friendly. And we're gonna start off with some oysters. These wings are done up with coffee and cola barbecue sauce. Don't know what that is, but apparently it's like cola infused, like Coca Cola uh, infused barbecue sauce. Taste the Coke in them? I don't know. It's different though. It's really good. Skylar got a lobster roll with really good, tasty fries. They have like a little curry powder or something on them. They're really good. And I got a pork schnitzel, which looks amazing. It's like green spetzel, fried egg, pork, green beans. These fries. Oh my God. Stop eating all my fries. <laughs> Presentation, beautiful, but these little oops, <laughs> shoestring type like potato fries on top. Packed full of lobster, like from top to bottom. So much lobster on the roll, so I feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth. Um, not too complicated. It's really good, really simple. Look at you, quick outfit change. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where am I? <laughs> I threw on my, it was t shirt time. I had to throw on my third shirt of the day. T shirt time. Dinner was very good, and now we're just kind of wandering around the waterfront. It's so nice to have the sun. It's so and nice. It's like golden -y out. Ugh. Sunset soon. We're gonna walk over to Victoria Park and enjoy sunset from there.
received a call about a pair of goats loose in a residential neighborhood. And when they arrived, they found the pair of suspects were not quite cooperating. And then, as you can see, it was off to the races. After several <laughs> failed attempts, the never watched. What up with TV. these goats? <laughs> Turn it on, and this is what I, we see. Good girl, Indy. Good girl. Are you posing? I'm not wearing this today because it's 30 degrees, but I got this uh, secondhand vintage mess from Green Eyed Designs. They have tons of different handmade jewelry and uh, carefully sourced vintage clothing items in there, and it's just lovely. It's a whole vibe. Probably been one of my favorite stories in Charlotte Town Summer. This one. Skylar wants the pink leash. Here you go. Great. Yeah, we got these uh, hip waist belt leashes from PetSmart. They are amazing. They're so good, and especially because like you can leash two dogs onto one of the waistbands, yeah. and then it's hand-free. On, them off. And there's a little strap closer to where the dog is, so like if you needed to rein them in and get them closer to you. Yeah. We are back at Victoria Park. We've seen this ice cream place, uh, but we just didn't want to get it last night, so we're gonna come back get some ice cream right here. Kiwanis Dairy Bar. Kiwanis? Kiwanis. Sorry, Kiwanis. Since 1955. Kiwanis. Wow. What you got? I don't know. Is there pools too? Yep. Yeah. How's your ice cream? Really good. Look at the little spoon you got. We just took a quick 25 minute drive outside of Charlottetown. We're in an area called Trackity. We're gonna check out maybe a beach here, maybe do some hikes on some trails. But first, we're gonna get some lunch. We are at Finn Folk Food, which is located right on the uh, doorsteps of Trackity, Grand Trackity Beach, one of PEI's most loved beaches is what we are told. So we're gonna grab some seafood here is what they're well known for. Let's go see if they're patio is dog friendly. You want some treats and freebies? Can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, good darling. Good darling. Yes, so gentle. This is amazing. This doesn't look real behind me. This is the prettiest restaurant setting ever. We were literally looking out. Sandy beaches, lush grass, blue water, blue sky, and then you have incredible seafood right in front of you. And the best part is that we're indoors in the AC, enjoying it with our dogs. Like, did you even get to explain what just happened? No. <laughs> we walked in, we were like, hi, like, I don't know if your dog, if your patio is dog friendly, like, our dogs are well behaved, and they're like, oh, the whole place is dog friendly. And we're like, what? So the way it works is that when you walk in, where you order is downstairs and it's kind of separate from the dining room area and then you'll come upstairs and you get a little uh, buzzer and you wait for your food and it buzzes and you go back downstairs to the separate spot to grab your food and then take it back upstairs so it's like all air ac and they love dogs they even have a dog wall they took a little polaroid photo of indy and toby and now they're on the wall we did not know what to expect when coming here but we're we've been completely blown away and the food looks incredible yeah what do we got then oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've somehow figured out how to make it dog friendly inside with food. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, what do you got? I'm eating yours. So got this is fish tacos. Do you notice that they, the way they made these fish tacos is a hard shell on the inside and a soft shell on the outside. And there's some beautiful mango looking salsa there. And I got the pan fried paddock and a salad to go with it. It looks fresh, it looks delightful, and I'm sure it's gonna taste good too. Andy and Toby just got their photo taken. A little Polaroid and they've been added to the dog wall. You're so happy looking in that photo. <laughs> it was a happy doge. That place was amazing. Such friendly staff, great food, great views, great spot. Yes, 10 out of 10, and just the fact that we could also bring the dogs with us was the highlight yeah. for us, for sure. And yeah, it was just 
It was really cool. And we overlooked the beach that we are going to go to now. Oh, something else is that this uh, spot, the person that owns the restaurant, also is building a hotel just right by beside the restaurant. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll, we'll definitely be back because we've already been eyeing it. So we can't wait to return and experience both the hotel, the restaurant, and the beach all over again. We were going to go hiking but we've switched our plans right now. Yes. It's a little too hot, honestly, and we are all feeling the need to jump in the water right now, so. Indy is gonna be over the moon. Indy's gonna be Like, over that the boat moon. ride for her was torture. No, Not being able to she jump in the water. enjoyed it. Well, she, yeah, she definitely loves being on the water, it. but yes. she wants to be in the water. She loves to be in the More water. More than so. on the water. <laughs> We're gonna go down to the uh, trackity. Trackety Beach? Trackety Beach, yes. Grand Trackety Beach. That is the restaurant, Pinfo Food, over there. Right over there. And then when you look out from the restaurant, you see this beach here. So you can totally swim here. But if you look over this way, you can see there's like a sandbar and an island over here. So this sandbar used to not exist and you would have to swim or boat over to the Blackbush Island. Bush? Blackbush Island, right? Sounds right. Yeah, so that we used to be an island, but then a storm quite a few years ago pushed this whole sandbar that you see in here today. So you can actually take a trail along and go out to the ocean instead of being in this like little inlet here. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, but both they said inside are recommended. It looks like there's a lot more families kind of in this little inlet here. And then probably more of the adventurous ones go out to the ocean there. Is that fun, Toby? Happy lady. Woo! Don't drink that! <laughs> I said watch this. I'll put a towel down and Toby will come. Uh, for me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. This is an amazing spot. Amazing beach, like so much space. It's like a movie set. It is because you have to walk this like flat washed up sandbar to get out here. And so you can definitely have like closer to your car like I think that's probably why a lot of families were there and it's more controlled over there but then you can just walk across the sandbar and come over here. Cheers. Cheers. Go for a swim Toby. Get you off the towel. Come on Indy let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes Indy you're such a water dog. Yes. Look at this beaver. Oh, it's such a, like a nice, gradual walk-in, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Oh. What's Toby doing? Yeah, help it. So you can see those people. So you can see those people. Can you comfort me? Can you comfort me? <laughs> My mom and dad love me. Can you comfort me? <laughs> can you adopt me? <laughs> Toby's gonna leave us. Oh no, she's coming back. Oh. <laughs> mom! <laughs> Toby! Yeah, Toby! A photo! Oh, she's going on! <laughs> Bye, Toby! Oh, Toby. <laughs> yeah! Well done! Is it cold? It's actually really nice. I mean, I won't be diving too much, but. The EI! the island of amazing beaches and a pretty sweet capital city that is close to some amazing beaches. This is, yeah, you can have like a little city stay and still enjoy the beaches. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're on to the next adventure. Yes, uh, we had an absolute blast exploring Charlottetown. Hopefully this video inspires you to visit Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island someday too. And we love that we really got to showcase some of the dog friendly spots around this beautiful, beautiful city and some adventure spots to nearby just around the city. We know that we will be back again. It's just addictive once you visit PEI. So you're much more always going to be wanting to come back again and again. So I am sure this will not be our last video of coming to PEI. And uh, hopefully this video inspires you and gives you some information on how you should, what you should see and do when exploring Charlottetown yourself. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Moolander out.
<laughs> you sound so bad. That's bananas. Those bananas. They commented. Oh, man. Stop doing that. <laughs> So wild. Like what a neat design. I love it. You could just lie on your back. What? <laughs> Are you full? <laughs> I'm so full. So I've been seeing these scooters everywhere. Finally getting a chance to ride one. They're an absolute glass. You need to ride one of these. <laughs> oh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> My shoes are not touching. We are perked. <laughs> this is perfectly okay. <laughs> what is going on with that leg? I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Oh. Can't do that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh my god. Start again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 